y'all, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come win playing. It's the last thing on the mind. So crime watch if you really Even ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. And we are back top of the evening to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, by now you are aware. By now you are aware all these social media, Facebook, um, Instagram, WhatsApp, dong. Well, no, Facebook. It's owned by Facebook. They've been dong for, for, for several, it's been dong several hours. And I mean, that's, it's globally, it's globally. That's what we're hearing. It's globally, am I right? So, some of you who can't see my show on Facebook, you can just go across to YouTube. But we are currently, my website is currently dong. So, um, in a couple, about a month or so, we'll be up and running. So, we wouldn't really have need for all these on Facebook and YouTube, but just a full website. You can look at me from the website. So, you know, I'm excited about that. But I'm still checking out my options. So, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. You know, I don't know what this man spoke about, the ministry, the minister of finance. Just get, we have a little, a, a little clip or something that's a crop. Nothing, nothing. He spoke from half past one, half past when he started, half past two, half past three, half past four, almost four hours. Almost four hours. At one time, at one time, ladies and gentlemen, the, the budget turned to a, 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 a Ministry of Health press briefing. Yeah, that's craziness. But what I did, I had my research, I, I kind of tightened up on, 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 on the crew today and brought in other researchers and whatnot. Just as a backup, of, I mean, you know, we weren't expecting him to go so long till, till um, almost after five. He, in fact, he took up everything, so it will be challenging for a lot of media houses to, you know, get the, 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 you know, the nitty-gritty part of it. But nevertheless, I did, I did it really fast, so I, I'm going to give it to you. The, um, the, now, we're going to put it up here. There has been no increase. Which one you want to put up? There has been no increase in the prices of gas as government estimated expenditure for the fiscal 2021-2022 is $52.49 billion. So just to let you know, you can breathe a little bit, no increase in gas. With uh, education ministry getting the largest allocation, said the finance minister. So the ministry of education get the largest amount of money. The the government has ex estimated expenditure for the fiscal 2021 to 2022. They, they had a budget of $52.49 billion. So Ministry of Education got the largest. The $6.886 billion went to the Ministry of Education. Do we have that there? Right. So I'm just, I know, no, what we did, excellent, excellent. Excellent. So what my people did, right? I don't think people really understand that, that they don't really understand that, you know. Right. 2022 budget. So last year budget, it was 7.973 billion. So this year education, education got 6.886 billion. National security got five uh, five point six six four billion. Health got six point three five billion. Public utilities got two point six seven one billion. Works and transport got three point five seven seven billion. Now they got more than last year. They got they got more than last year. You say that that and move wrong. Right, they got more than last year. More than last year. Um, public utilities, pub, pub, public utilities got more than last year. Last year they got 2.09. This time they got 2.671 billion. Rural development, well they they, they, they didn't really get not, nothing too significant from you know just a little thing. Last year they got 1.642 billion. Well this year, for the fiscal year, they got 1.6506 billion. Housing. Housing got a huge, a, a huge, huge reduction. Last year they got one billion. This year they got six hundred and ten million. 
What that could do, I don't know. Well, it's just to give out houses next year. And that is the plan, it's just to give out. So maybe, maybe keep staff running, keep this running, keep that running. But housing got the worst blow. Yeah? Housing got the worst blow. Accommodation got the worst blow. So just to let you know, the class said they got one billion. This year they got six, 610 agriculture. Agriculture got 1.198 billion. They got a little increase. They got 1.249 billion dollars. Open up your lines to me. So, so right. So you understand. You, you, so, so you have an idea now because it just finished and to, to, you know to download and everything. It's kind of hard. So just to let you know, just to let you know again, no gas price. They work on a budget of 52.49 billion. Education ministry got 6.886 billion. Ministry of Health got 6.355 billion. Uh, ministry of Works got 3.57 billion. Uh, ministry of Rural Development got 1.6506 billion. And the people of Trent Tobago got nothing because this money really don't come down to us, enough, whether you like it or not. All the billion, 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 billion dollars, it really don't come down to you. It really does not come down to you. And they really ask a, a country of 1.4 million people, where all this money going, boy? Which part all this money going? Does it really come to you? Do you see a better, a better lifestyle since this government has been in power? Are you living better? Are you living more comfortable? No. But look at money playing. Look at money playing. But this is money to give their friends and, and those of them and, and, and the contractor friend in the Ministry of Education. It's on education right now. School clothes, blah, 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 all kind of thing. Six point. But anyhow, just to let you know. Now, no gas. You understand Ministry of Education got the, 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 the biggest chunk of the budget. I must congratulate my crew for really putting this, putting this together for me really fast. Yeah, they, 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 you know, really, really fast. You know, in spite of the long drawn out talk for four hours, because they were there locked on. They, I had them locked on. I had a whole team come in locked on. Don't miss a thing. All right, so just to let you know, VAT is to be removed from the 1st of December, the 1st of December from several basic items. I think this is good. Basic food items. So, but you can do it before the Wally, but... But at the first of November, all right, because pe but you don't understand. You have to give the groceries. You have to give the groceries whatnot time and whatnot to organize the business. That the wall is the force. You have to give them a little time, all right. So Finance Minister Colin Mumbut said that government will increase the list of basic food items in which VAT will be exempted, including cooking oil, corn flakes, curry, juice, pigtail, bottle of water, biscuit, canned foods. Canned meat, sausages, ham, canned fish, ketchup. And a, no, an appropriate list of items will be published soon. Yeah, ham. People will be the happiest people in the world. So, you know, with that chicken, ham, and all this kind of ham. Open up the lines to me fast. So, VAT will be removed. I'm trying to give it all the fast, yeah? So, VAT will be removed from cooking oil. Well, all the different kind of oil, all the different kind of cornflakes, all the different kind of curry, all the different kind of juices. Maybe some of you could, who like Florida natural now, it might be a little cheaper. I mean, I drink Florida natural a lot, so, you know, I'm happy about that. And, um, can food, um, can open up the lines. Hi, caller. Good evening. Hi, Ian. This is Annette. I'm calling from Brooklyn. I'm, I'm just calling to let you know that I appreciate what you do. Thanks for bringing the budget on the air so I can see it. I yeah. really appreciate so, it. So, Annette, oh, be, before you go, before you go, the yeah. Ministry of Education got the largest amount of money allocated and they're moving VAT for mom, like, the, like cooking oil, cornflakes, curry, juice, Yes, pigtail. I was hearing it. Yeah, yeah, so it's good. I find that it's good. And it's going yeah, to be. I don't know where they want our people to live, though. Yeah, Gil, they, they realize now 610 million to run a ministry mm -hmm. of housing and urban development. That is impossible. And it says mm -hmm. a lot. It says a lot. When, when in a year, Annette, there are it's people not. who lost their homes. 
people yes. who, who couldn't rent people who couldn't rent people who yes. there are a lot of people displaced right now yeah staying by mm. relatives and whatnot after the pandemic remember we know cannot coming out after the pandemic there are a lot of people who who couldn't pay the rent so they had to get put on so they go by the cousin they go back by the mother and then with the husband they treat children but be living downstairs so there's no accommodation for them that's the big yes, I, I have family in trinidad who unfortunately is in that position one member of my family and it, I relatives. understand it. I can relate. I understand these things. And I, I'm just thinking that you could have put a little extra or tell us that those people who apply for homes, those people who apply for homes and whatnot, you can expedite the process. And, and you know, but 610 million for the Ministry of Housing, what are you going to do? That could pay, that, it, it could pay the, that just to pay wages, you understand? That just to pay wages. They just to pay wages and run vehicle and do things and you know, but nevertheless, but what they did with a billion dollars last year, a billion dollars in housing last year. Look, last year I can show you back. This is what you see here. Look at it. Last year, a billion dollars. What they did with a billion last year, let it come down to six ten agriculture. You now we can't sustain ourselves. More money should have been given to farmers and agriculture and whatnot. So, well what, they, well, what they did, they gave a $300 million stimulus plan to agriculture. All right? So, again, VAT to be removed as of the 1st of November on cooking oil, cornflakes, curry, juice, pigtail, bottled water, biscuit, canned vegetables, canned meat, sausages, ham, canned fish, ketchup, and appropriate. And just to let you know, the list will come out. So, it will, it, the, the, the list will come out soon. Well, the way, the way all you have me talking, like all you feel like working for government, asking me when, when, when the list will come out. And, you know, the list will come out soon. Hi, caller, good evening. And you see, Hi, when you hi advertise, good evening, good evening, Ian. Yeah, good evening. You know, this is, this is none to be happy about. Those items where he removed VAT from, we had over 1,200 items was zero rated or VAT free under the partnership government. So when he come now and just give back a few things, is nothing to the people. That what is true. The people that is true. Need, that is true. That is true. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. He gives actually nothing to the people. This was already what enjoyed over 1,200 items. It is true. Go ahead. That is true. That is true. That is true. So that what is he true. did there now, that is nonsense. That is true. What we need, what we need, if he didn't want to do nothing, let us have accountability. Let the Auditor General do something immediately or bring in some international auditor to tell us how that 50 something billion no, no, no. in the last. Hold on. Hold on. You know when he can bring auditors? He can bring in auditors, you know? He bring in people, FBI, nothing. I want to. I ain't going to go there yet. Juni Shaw go there. Thanks again. So you see when people what you see when they add you see let me show you that woman calling from brooklyn it just goes to show now i was checking my insights on social media oh my god there are a lot of people in america that's locked onto my show like unbelievable it is a lot a lot and just imagine i am it's just unbelievable somebody was showing me said so but i am just a one-hour show a one-hour show from six to seven repeat in the night repeat the next day and repeat on weekend and yet i have past so many 24 7 stations out in trinidad alone on viewership it is unbelievable and your ads your ads people looking pasadi food king especially good evening to you sir fab indian expo look at the ads varma steel best roofing central imaging center they're going to come out just now central imaging center you know fit with um general vascular 40 ultrasound breast cancer screening packages um they're located in montreal 99 montrose um ct scan x-rays and whatnot they, they're gonna start to give out vouchers to you yeah so i just kind of let the cat out the bag um central funeral home especially good evening to them we, and also avani brand special good evening remember we're gonna give out hampers for avani by thursday or friday yeah? let's take a fast break <laughs> 
celebrate Republic Day with a craving for savings extravaganza. Passar the Food King celebrates with pride our nation's 45th Republic Day. And we're giving you a national sale of savings like no other. With over 250 super saving deals to choose from, you can be sure to budget like a boss and eat like a king. In these tough times, with your favorite family supermarket, Passar the Food King. Check this out. Mabel Morby Concentrate, 2 for $10. Pepsi 2 Liter, 3 for $18. Red Rose Tea Bags, 3 packs for $20. Maya Laundry Detergent Powdered Assorted 6 Packs for $20 Hibiscus All Purpose Flour 4 Packs for $20 And a Soft and Pretty Bathroom Tissue 6 Pack 2 for $18.99 Yes, that's right This Republic Day and beyond The unbelievable deals, the specials and the savings Are available at all Passade the Food King locations Manson La Road, Mayaro, Tabakit Road, Rio Claro New Grand, 2 stores in Princess Town, 2 in Point Fortin And Premier Street Marabella Next to the Marabella Market Fab India Expo announces the biggest pretty Wali sale ever. Get up to 50% off. Yes, you heard right. All food items at Tandoori King and Bosa Diner, 50% off. Also get 25% off at Ali's Fresh Juice. Queen Footwear, buy any pair for $99. Meraki Spa, get 50% off on your second service. Get your bridal outfit at Viva Fashion and get matching bridal jewelry free. Spend $1,000 or more at PK, Bina or Honey and get cash vouchers. Sale runs until October 10th. Fabinga Expo, opposite the Medford gas station in Shabonas, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market announces its opening for bookings. Call 299 5862 and book now from the 3rd to the 31st of December. Attention all contractors and homeowners. Beat the rain. Get your roofing materials fast. Shop at Varma Steel and collect your materials upon purchase or have them delivered the next day. Varma Steel for high-grade roofing sheets, purlins, steel beams, flashing, guttering, chain link, BRC and decking sheets. Free transport for purchases over $5,000. Varma Steel's high-grade roofing have a life of 40 to 50 years. Varma Steel, next to the St. Margaret's Police Station, Pleasance Park. Call 659-4008. What sets us apart from the rest? Our dedication to provide you with a better experience and reliable results. Welcome to Central Imaging Center. We offer affordable CT scans, general vascular 4D ultrasounds, and breast cancer screening packages. All your imaging needs with reliable reporting and results. Call 39 Image today. Central Imaging TT. Not just a better image, but a better experience. St. Rose Funeral Services. We don't just say we care, we show that we care. 24 7 removal services. International shipping and embalming. Pre planned funeral arrangements with complete burial or cremation. Locally made caskets and coffins customized for your loved ones. Wreath. Floral arrangements programs, prayer cards and mourners vehicles, max your car are all provided for your family's comfort. When you're leaving, leave in style. St. Rose Funeral Services, number 5 Bazalon Street, Tunapuna, 645-1075-337-9686. Allow us to honor your family members. At Avani's, we have confidence in our food that is well prepared and made from fresh ingredients of the best quality. Food that is healthy, nutritious and naturally appetizing. Nourishing us, strengthening us, and reconnecting us with nature, our gluten-free products include no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives, and are 100% vegan. We believe in authentic food that the entire family can enjoy. All natural Vannies get our range of products. Cassava fries, plantain fries, sweet potato fries, pumpkin puree, coconut puree, cassava puree, red beans, black beans, chana, lentils, and black eyed peas. Manufactured by Cedros Atlantic Waters and distributed by Hatco. Available at supermarkets nationwide. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know, just to give you an update, I mean, it's all social media. Like, I'm, I can't even get WhatsApp. You know, people, I mean, we, go, we listen, I'm going crazy. No WhatsApp, no Insta, no Facebook. But so I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to give you an update on um, Al Jazeera news with respect to what they said about, because you can't, get, you can't download no videos so nobody's saying anything, but I, you know, I have this to show you what's going on out there in the world. A giant Facebook and its Instagram and WhatsApp services have been hit by widespread outages. Facebook says it's aware some people are having trouble accessing the platforms, but hasn't said what's behind the problem. 
Well, let's speak to Ian Share about this. He's the editor at large at the consumer tech site CNET and he's joining us uh, from Maryland in the U.S. Very good to have you with us. Uh, uh, tell us about what this all is about. I mean, Facebook says some users, but this looks like a, a global outage. How widespread is it? Well, <laughs> it's hard to tell. I will say that when we're talking about Facebook, more than half the world's online population is using it every month. So, you know, a few users can be a lot of users. <laughs> but this is this is a significant look, these these outages happen from time to time. Right. Sometimes they are the result of bad behavior, hacks or something. Other times it's someone who pushed the wrong button. And this time it seems like it may have been not a bad thing. It may have been someone pushed the wrong button or right. some computer is misconfigured and that'll get fixed at some point. But this has been going on for over an hour now, which is long, yeah. No? It is long. And look, these things tend to be unusual because Facebook in particular really prides itself on working really well. You know, over the last, I'd say, five, 10 years, we've seen Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, all of them have been relatively stable. Before that, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty normal for the internet to kind of go in and out and some websites not to work. Uh, you can look up the Twitter fail whale if you remember that period of internet history. So, you know, this stuff did happen, but it is unusual more so now. And so, yeah, having it out for an hour is definitely uh, noteworthy. And this is coming in a day after a whistleblower revealed that the company Facebook prioritized profit over public good. And we know that political pressure yeah. has been building on the company. We're not speculating, of course, here, whether there's a link between that and what's happening today. But I'm wondering, you know, with all this bad publicity right now for Facebook and, and this political pressure, can, can the company withstand all this bad pressure and bad publicity? What do they have to do to change things around? Yeah, I mean, look, I think that they are under a, a really a lot of pressure from all over the place, right? Not just uh, their critics and people like me in Silicon Valley, but also you've got the regulators in Washington all over the world. And look, it's very clear that Facebook needs to really reckon with what they have done, both in terms of actually allowing bad behavior to continue happening on their platform and how they haven't been honest and forthright with you and me and everybody else about how bad the situation is. And that, that is a really big problem. How bad is the situation? I mean, it's very clear that uh, that harassment and uh, the spread of disinformation, mm -hmm. undermining democracy, all of these things have been happening on a wider scale. So now you have an idea that Facebook said on Twitter a while ago that they, you know, they're, they're, they're working on it. So those on Insta, those on, 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 um, on WhatsApp and Facebook, they're working on it. So I just want to let you know, what, you know, a lot of people rely internationally on our, Al Jazeera, so let me tell you what's going on. So we're going again. Also, Tobago will receive a budget allocation of $2.35 billion from central government for fiscal 2021-2022, said Finance Minister Inwood added that 2.075 will consist of, recu of re recurrent expenditure while 2.6 capital expenditure. $50 million will be available to assist the hotel and tourism industry in its recovery effort after being hit hard. Okay. You see, watch me. Let's see, Marge, come back to me. $50 million will be made available to assist hotel. This is Tobago, yeah? Let me tell you something. Just to let you know. This, this government is really unfair, you know. These farmers and them, to be, um, the farmers and them, can't, the, 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 the workers and them who went to pick apple and grapes and all kind of, all, you know, these people who go there to Canada. Apparently, when they went, they took the first vaccine. Because the first, you know, and then to get the second dose, they took another vaccine. But that's what went on in Canada. Not knowing that when they come back here, they have to, the government de decided, decided, here what, all they can come back. So, you know, all the money the workers and the farm workers work for, they had to come and each hotel is 13,000. You know what they're giving you? A stinking bread and egg on mornings. Good to see this government. A stinking bread and egg. Just imagine that. And $13,000. I know somebody this morning. I know somebody this morning went and paid $13,000 to a hotel to get, to get back their loved one here. 
Government have all their friends, all their people making back their money. So all the money they make last year, you know it's 13,000 to spend in a hotel? And you only getting breakfast alone? Boy, I tell you, watch me, that you robbery without a gun, courtesy this government. And the, and the caller is right. Six crunking items, you come and you move this and they say no gas and this and that. Oh, that good budget. Don't, 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 um, don't shoot them down. Don't shoot them down with Stalin. It's good. It's good. It's good for when you have. It's good for when you have, but it's not good for when you don't have. Also, ladies and gentlemen, meanwhile, VAT import duty, motor vehicle tax, and customs duty have been removed from the importation of all electric and battery powered vehicles, which are not older than two years. Okay, so now you might, okay, electric cars taking over. They have all, in fact, what they are was looking at a, um, a, um, a Porsche. No, the big, big ones, but they call it the, the, no, the big Porsche vehicles. Someone was showing one, one to me a couple of days ago. And it, it's battery operated. It's battery operated. So just to let you know, VAT, import duty, motor vehicle tax, and custom duty have been removed for the importation of all electric and battery powered vehicles, which are not older than two years. So you can bring in, you, you, you will be able, we don't know the data yet, you, 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 will, you will be able to bring in these electric cars. So the, no VAT, no import duty, no motor vehicle. So let's see what's going to happen there. Also custom duty, VAT and tax have also been removed from the importation of equipment for persons with disabilities including visual and hearing which i find um okay custom duty vat and tax will also be removed from the importation of equipment for the persons with disability including all right so maybe some of you need a wheelchair maybe maybe a motorized uh you know the, the little bikes they move around with those you know who can't walk and whatnot other equipment so they have removed the custom duty vat and taxes from all that and also for visual and hearing impaired so a hearing aid is going to cost because a proper hearing aid in america could get you like four or five thousand us something really top of the line so if they say that they have removed taxes and custom duty and vat and whatnot but you know that people if still they might want to dig out your eye and not dig out your eye alone they got your ears and all too see that they have the the, the visual hearing impaired equipment you know, devices, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna raise it. But we're gonna watch them, we're gonna watch them like a hawk. All right, so you can bring down equipment, and, you know, so those of you who have loved ones who, you know, who are disabled, but you know, they, they will be able to get a little motorized something and move around, that'd be so great. Also, the direct, also, nurses on contract at the various regional health authorities will soon be regularized as Embud said he has given instruction to the director of personal administration to address the issue by december 21st now nurses 2021 sorry december 2021 so nurses on contract which is good which is good so nurses on contract at the various regional health authorities will be regularized by December, that is so good. That, that that is good because now they will get a little stability. They'll be able to get, as one of my researchers said, they'll be able to get their loans. They'll be able to, to maybe purchase a home. You know, a lot of things. Get a little pension, gratuity, everything because they're going to go on contract. I know every day. You realize one week now I've been pushing for the government to give. We, we can't work on a 20, police can't work on a 2013 salary, fire service can't work, fire, fire officers too, traffic wardens, MTA, MTA defense force, and just to let you know how government pay, you know, they, they pay so much attention because they realize the masses watch crime watch. And when I started talk from here, the masses listening, and what they said today that, they, that Colin Nimbus said, the director of of personal administration has also been instructed to commence new negotiation for tr for all trade unions and other representative bodies for the public servant so th so they're going to resume negotiations wow that is good that is good but you see that is talk to it i talk that is talk we don't want to talk we don't want to talk again we don't want to talk we don't want to talk it just had to, you know, keep, keep them up. I like the idea about the custom duty, VAT, and tax 
remove from the importation of equipment for the disabled. Maybe you'll be able to bring out a proper bed. Your family can buy a nice bed away. They can buy a little, you know, the little bicycle thing, proper wheelchair. Those of you children who, who, who suffer with um, cerebral palsy, there's so much advanced things out there, equipment out there. Now we'll be able to have it. And those of you, VAT, um, t tax free, tax free, which is good. All right, and then you'll be able to, those of you, all battery operated vehicles, ele well, electric vehicles, sorry, electric vehicles, there's no VAT import duty on motor vehicle tax and custom duty have been removed from the importation of these vehicles. It must be, it must be no older than two years. So we're getting some wind, they're just keeping you posted on what's happening. Let's take a fast break. Annual Diwali to Christmas sale now on at Elegant Draperies. Save on all draperies, bedding, curtain rods, mats, rugs, blinds and more. Located at 29 Todd Street, San Fernando. Don't miss out. Visit us today. Naturally Fresh Foods Limited is a supermarket for you. We carry the highest quality foods at the most affordable prices, giving you value for your money. Stay safe with our curbside pickup services. Check out our Facebook page, WhatsApp your grocery list and collect within three hours. We have a wide range of fresh produce and packaged products. Come in today at number 10 Bonaventure Road, Gasparello. Also available at Green Hill Foods, Princess Town. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection stations. We are the premier source for all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment, 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Quality, selection, and the lowest prices are available at Lal Sawmill Limited, SS Aaron Road DB, for the finest lumber to suit your needs. Teak, apple mat, cedar, mahogany, and a large variety of hardwood. Our services include resawing, edging of lumber, planing of lumber, and cutting of logs. Also now available are teak king posts, bed legs, and wooden balusters. Visit Lal Sawmill Limited, SS Aaron Road, DB, or call 316-4416. Orange is Celtech got you protected from the COVID-19 virus. Get all your face masks, adults and kids from the leading supplier in TNT. Blue, black, kids, pink and blue. KN95 mask, $5 each. Visit us at Gulf City Mall, San Fernando. Clean your septic with Mr. Septic, the lowest prices in TNT. Quick, reliable service nationwide. Save money today. Call us now at 684-0933 or 714-3065. Massive sale now on at RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited. Check out our latest doors, windows, gates and rails. Get 35% off selected doors. Over 1,000 designs to choose from. Or customize your design and we can create it. Visit us next to the Diwali Nagar or 198 SS Erin Road, Davie. Call today to speak with a sales rep. RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited, the king in fabricating. Tired of choosing between healthy and delicious? Your search is over with the all-new O Snacks Chewy Granola Bars. Bars, the healthier choice. Orange is Celtech got you protected from the COVID-19 virus. Get all your face masks, adults and kids from the leading supplier in TNT. Blue, black, kids, pink and blue. KN95 mask, $5 each. Visit us at Gulf City Mall, San Fernando. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. 
we ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Fabinja Expo announces the biggest pretty wali sale ever. Get up to 50% off. Yes, you heard right. All food items at Tandoori King and Dosa Diner, 50% off. Also get 25% off at Ali's Fresh Juice. Queen Footwear, buy any pair for $99. Meraki Spa, get 50% off on your second service. Get your bridal outfit at Diva Fashion and get matching bridal jewelry free. Spend $1,000 or more at PK, Bina or Honey and get cash vouchers. Sale runs until October 10th. Fab India Expo, opposite the Medford gas station in Shibonas, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market announces its opening for bookings. Call 299 5862 and book now from the 3rd to the 31st of December. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished, air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside, fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. You know, I'll tell you something, just to let you know, but TikTok really blew them out of the water. Yeah? Now, Facebook, I realize it's back on my phone. And in fact, um, well, TikTok was operational for the entire day. So, because I am on TikTok, Ian Allen, TikTok. So, um, you know, those of you who wish to follow me. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, really, really fast, because I have other things to jump to. So, at, at least you have an idea what's happening. Finance Minister Colin Inbutin delivering his opening remarks in his presentation for the 2021 and 2022 budget in the Parliament earlier today said $531 million was spent last year as it sought to provide numerous grants to, to, to nationals ranging from food salary relief and humanitarian assistance. This year's budget theme is resilience in the face of a global pandemic. 86,924 salary grants cost the state 143.6 million last year. Well, you really pa What's that? No, that just last year. They, they, this fiscal year, right? They gave grants and whatnot. So it's only 86,000 out of a population of 1.4. 8,200. Salary grants were paid from 2021 May and June 2021, value 24 million. 8,000 grants, but that's shameless. Shameless, shameless, shameless. 8,000 grants in a, in a, on a population of 1.24 million. It cost them 24 million. But every one of them, parliament or no parliament, every one of them ministers, everybody, get their money. The Minister of Social Development distributed 51. 1,490 grants for food and income support at the cost of 221, $221.4 million. 128 religious groups received totaling 39.9 million. That the kind of money we're talking about church, mosque, temple, house of worship got. But you know, you really ask here, yeah? like a particular place of worship. And I realized that. And I'll talk about it. When they got grants, well, hampers and whatnot, the first thing they did, make sure that the, the, not the members in the, in, in the place of worship, no. the people's family get things first, and then they come and they get people who are worshiping. Shameless. Shameless. Disgusting. A lot of places of worship did that. I don't want to call names. I don't want to tell you who it is. But that place of worship, sort of the people, they little click. You know, in every place of worship, there's a click, a click, the rankers and them. And then it is good on to the, the people who come to pray. Take it out, take, take it out, out. However, you take it, it's true. And everybody knows to, what, what I am saying today is so true. Also, emergency relief grants to artists and members of the crea of creative sector 
saw 3,365 checks being distributed at a cost of 18 points. You know, them give artists, artists, people who sing in Calypsonian shop, these artists, they give out 300 and they give out 3,365 grants and members of the creative sector. That came up to 18, 18.3 million. And yet these no good and them leave this country here and gone to make money abroad. And we here still. And them don't get a check. They're making double money. All them artists and them who all are running like dog. And say, can I get a picture with you, please? I like your song. What the hell was with them? Them leave us while we didn't have. And, and making the money and, and looking like idiots. This one we singing on TikTok. Who will even see him? Stupid fool. Just imagine that. But they collect their check here. They collect their money here. Remember, it's 3,365 checks being distributed to the artists and members of the creative sector. Artists gone, everybody gone to sing all our Miami Carnival, everybody. And you don't hear like dog. Don't hear like dog. And we, as, as, as hear this artist singing, or this one singing, they want to get money, you're borrowing money to go, you're, you're making sure you're up in front. Wait, 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 wait. Me? I don't go in front of no stage, darling. Not me. You don't get this. You don't get me to go in front of no stage, darling. Not me at all. Not me at all. I taking China from any artist, but me want to see them. I want to see them. Emergency really um, and 459 nationals trapped abroad and unable to return home due to lockdown receive as much as U.S. 2,320, 2020, 21, at a total of 2.5 million. Everybody didn't get that. Because let me tell you something. Let me ask you something. The farmers get that? The people who pick up her and coming back right now have to find $13,000 to stay in the front of the hotel. I'll just let you know. Hi, Kola. Good evening. Hi, good night. Yeah, good night. I just... Yeah, go ahead. We lost Syria like Facebook. So just to let you know, 144 persons conf uh, confirmed cases of COVID-19. We had seven deaths today, 11 deaths Saturday, five deaths. Do you know between Friday and now, we had 26 deaths? 26 deaths. 26. Let me give you the, let me give you the COVID news fast. Nine more Delta variant cases have been recorded. Now we have 26 in the country. 26 in the country. At, on thousands of fully vaccinated form four, six students returned face-to-face -face classes earlier today, more than a year after such classes were suspended. So thousands fully vaccinated form four to six students returned face-to-face -face classes. So I'll just show you the clips and whatnot. Also, meanwhile, the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, along with Minister of Education, Dr. Nayan Gasby dolly and Lisa Morris Julian, visited three schools in Port of Spain, Queen's Royal College, Fatima, and St. Joseph Convent. All right? So, Rowley visiting school. Boy, all you on games, yes? All you on games. Imagine, people, imagine, that should tell you alone. You know, a government that, a government that, 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 that cannot really give you proper accommodation. It's not no kind of government. Last year, you know how much people lose apartment. You know how much people out. You know how people cost up their family and thing for man and go, and have to go back home like dog and under your mother house so and you're vexed. But what you gonna do? You can't pay the rent. The landlord kick you out. You apply for AGC house, but me, you know, to get AGC house if you're a woman, you have to know all kind of acrobatic when you if you have to really have to get AGC house long time. You don't know about that? Yeah. I know a girl guy here, this year in two days, in a day, you know. <laughs> a day, I'm telling you. I won't tell you which government, but I won't, I won't tell you, I won't tell you. A day, a day. I say, what? Huh? Acrobatic with you? A day that you get, work for now. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, head of first wave movement, uh, Yuma, Uma Abdullah was arrested in front of the Ministry of Education earlier today as he tried to deliver a pre-action protocol letter on behalf of a group of parents protesting the return of to school for vaccinated students alone. So he was arrested. He was taken away by two officers after an argument with ministry officials. A group of about 20 parents accompanied him to the ministry of St. Vincent Street, Port of Spain. So, you know, they're protesting. They don't like it and I agree with them. But it's so sad. There's a price to pay for fighting, you know. There's a price to pay. 
Also, ladies and gentlemen, Attorney General Faris al Rari has announced that safe zones will be reopened to vaccinated members of the public as well as staff members unless persons obtain a medical exemption certificate. So you must have a safe zone, you must have it. You must have your documents. Speaking at Prime Minister's press conference on the diplomatic center on Saturday, al Rari said patrons will enter the safe zones and, and are not a vaccine. Patrons who enter the safe zones and are not vaccinated and are not vaccinated will be subjected to a fixed penalty of five thousand, while business operators will be fined twenty-five thousand. Just play that little clip and then take a break. If at any point in time an inspection is carried out by the relevant people with authority to do that at a safe zone operator and you find people in the premises who are unvaccinated and in breach of the requirements that we set up, there will be a fixed penalty that is presented. You can challenge it. That fixed penalty is going to be at $25,000. If you look at the, M, the patron side and you are somebody who somehow finds yourself inside of the premises and you are unvaccinated and in breach, you're facing a penalty of $5,000 by fixed penalty. You know when to wear masks, you're wearing your mask good, your mask fit good on your face, yeah? you know when to wear masks. Let's take a fast break. It's Extra Foods, plenty for 20, budget bargain. Top Shelf Ramen, 9 for $20. Carrots, one pound pack, 6 for $20. Joseph Noodles, 6 for $20. Soldanza Potato Chips, 7 for $20. And Gala Apples, 10 for $20. All this and so much more. Extra Foods, always extra for less. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. Do you know just how important tires are in getting the maximum performance from your car? Dunlop. A leading manufacturer of ultra-high performance tires carefully designed grooves and blocks for more rubber-to-road contact. RDK Welding and Fabricating is your only choice for windows, gates, handrails and more. We have expert craftsmen on hand to fabricate any design with the highest grade materials at affordable prices. Check out our latest sale on heavy duty security steel doors. Visit us next to the Diwali Nagar and Shikwanas or call 317-2236 or 719-0115 to speak with a sales rep. RDK Welding and Fabricating Limited, the king in fabricating. the Ian Allen app on any device via the App Store. Follow the fastest growing Facebook page, Ian Allen Public Figure. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are live at 6 p.m. daily. And follow Ian Allen on Instagram. Join all our social media platforms today. Attention all bakers, doubles vendors and roti makers. Try our high quality bromate free, all purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Shikmisho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715 or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Shikmisho Limited, quality you can trust. Come on down to Adams Optical where we offer free comprehensive eye exams with free frames and a three month payment plan with no interest. We have a wide selection of frames and shades for everyone and we also specialize in contact lens examination. We are located at RRM Plaza on High Street San Fernando and 91 Montrose Main Road, Chagones. Find us on Facebook or visit us in store. Adams Optical. Marketing Company Limited and view our large stock of ready-made wrought iron designs. Visit us at 44 Montrose Main Road, Chicuana, or call 235-4283-GATE or 235-4766-IRON.
Now, restaurants, bars, casinos, gyms, now unvaccinated children are prohibited from safe zones and vaccinated persons must show proof of identification and vaccination. Restaurant, bars, casinos, gyms and water parks have been identified as safe zones. Public health regulations are expected to expire midnight tonight and new regulations are uh, to take effect will focus on safe zones. Um, just to let you know, the bodies of four Venezuelans have been found and 20 others fear dead after their vessels sunk after they left TNT waters over the weekend. The Trent Tobago Coast Guard reported last evening that it is assisting in a search and rescue operation, operation involving a vessel transporting 25 Venezuelans who left Trinidad and Tobago to the Delta region of Venezuela. The Trent Tobago Coast Guard said that it had received information from the Venezuelan authorities that the vessel which departed Trent Tobago on Friday had not, had not yet arrived and it is suspected that they have sunk in Venezuelan waters. So just, just remember, to let, just I'll tell you now, say a prayer, four persons have already been recovered, four bodies. I think they have one survivor. They, well, they found somebody alive. A police officer assigned to the traffic branch at the Scarborough Police Station was hit by a car and thrown off his motorbike earlier today on the Sister Isle. Around 7 a.m. this morning, PC ja Jamal Antoine was heading west along Milford Road when he tried to change lanes and here and near the Scarborough Port and collided with a silver Lancer heading in the same direction. Motorbike police. So sad. Also, even as government has extended the tax amnesty until Friday, October the 15th, Finance Minister Colin Embut has disclosed today that the Board of Inland Revenue has collected $1 billion as a result of tax amnesty for 2021. So, again, for the Board of Inland Revenue has collected $1 billion as a result of tax amnesty for 2021. Also, police in Orlando, Florida, have found the body of 19-year-old Maya Meccano, the daughter of Trinidadian soccer DJ Marlon Meccano, a.k.a. DJ Eternal Vibes, who went missing on Friday. Just to let you know that. Open up the lines. Also, two men were shot at Magbean Village in Coover on Friday night. Two men, including a real estate agent, were shot and killed in Coover on Friday, the 1st of October. The victim, 37-year-old Kalpil Khan, Kalif Khan, sorry, a real estate agent of Magbean Coover. Do we have a picture of him? And, a, and 43 year old Hubert London, Hubert Lyndon Andrews, a Mason laborer, also of Magbean. They were both shot dead in Coover. Also, a teenager was gone down in old train line in Marbella. 17-year-old Macwelly. Pascal of Silk Cotton Street, Batul Avenue, Marbella, who is a student of Marbella South Secondary, was shot dead in Marbella on Friday, the first. Also, a Marbella man was shot and killed in downtown Port of Spain. Maraval man, sorry, like I'm not what's going on with me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm so trying to run it off for you. A Marval man was shot and killed. He's been identified as Dwayne Reed, also known as Guana Man. Hi, Caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Yeah, good night. Yeah, go ahead. Also, hold a second. Hold a second. A police now, officer. Listen, I have a problem here. Yeah, go ahead. How come for the all the thing they they, they they promise the people for this COVID? They promise them masks. They promise them this. They promise them that. And look how long we going on our yeah, lockdown. Man. You can't get one mask in your mailbox, but you just what did they talk about? lion scheme thing, boy. All like lion right. scheme thing. But just just what did they talk about? This value your property. You know, everybody. The up last week, I get a um, letter for you to go and value a thing. But let me tell you something, Alan. You see that kind of thing where they say value your property. Nobody shouldn't be able to go and value that. You're right. You understand? Because by the end of the day, they was doing a survey before the lockdown, before the COVID, and they just stop on it and say, no, no, civilian, no, no, body falls, that they did not be able to follow that. Thank you again. Really for the time. Thank you again. In fact, the, 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 the Minister of Finance said the taxes collected from the valuation will be given, from property taxes will be given to the, um, will be given to local government bodies. All right. No problem. So, let me take a fast break. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Celebrate Republic Day with a craving for savings extravaganza. Passar the Food King celebrates with pride our nation's 45th Republic Day. And we're giving you a national sale of savings like no other. With over 250 super saving deals to choose from, you can be sure to budget like a boss and eat like a king. In these tough times, with your favorite family supermarket, Passar the Food King. Check this out. Mabel Moby Concentrate, 2 for $10. Pepsi 2 Liter, 3 for $18. Red Rose Tea Bags, 3 packs for $20. Maya Laundry Detergent Powdered Assorted 6 Packs for $20 Hibiscus All Purpose Flour 4 Packs for $20 And a Soft and Pretty Bathroom Tissue 6 Pack 2 for $18.99 Yes, that's right This Republic Day and beyond The unbelievable deals, the specials and the savings Are available at all Passade the Food King locations Manson La Road, Mayaro, Tabakit Road, Rio Claro New Grant, 2 stores in Princess Town, 2 in Point Fortin And Premier Street Marabella Next to the Marabella Market Organifi Red is the new superfood with three proprietary blends. The antioxidant blend fights the effects of aging by reducing cellular damage, boosts your well-being and lower fatigue with the endurance blend, lower inflammation and increase metabolism with the metabolic boosting blend. Available in pharmacies nationwide or contact Radiant Health and Fitness, the sole distributor for Organifi and TNT today. It's Extra Foods Plenty for 20 Budget Bargains. Top Shelf Ramen, 9 for $20. Carrots, 1 pound pack, 6 for $20. Joe Sing Noodles, 6 for $20. So Danza Potato Chips, 7 for $20. And Gala Apples, 10 for $20. All this and so much more. Extra Foods, always extra for less. Fab India Expo announces the biggest pretty Wally sale ever. Get up to 50% off. Yes, you heard right. All food items at Tandoori King and Dosa Diner, 50% off. Also get 25% off at Ali's Fresh Juice. Queen Footwear, buy any pair for $99. Meraki Spa, get 50% off on your second service. Get your bridal outfit at Viva Fashion. And get matching bridal jewelry free. Spend $1,000 or more at PK, Bina or Honey. And get cash vouchers. Sale runs until October 10th. Fab India Expo, opposite the Medford gas station in Shibonas, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Mid Center Mall Christmas Flea Market announces its opening for bookings. Call 299 5862 and book now from the 3rd to the 31st of December. Or say police officer signed to Region 2 Homicide Bureau of Investigation who was such shot. During a domestic dispute with, uh, with his service pistol has died. PC Brandon Wallace died at the Eric William Medical Science Complex around 7 a.m. today from gunshot injuries sustained during a domestic dispute with a female on Wednesday, the 22nd of September at, 11, at, at the 11th Street home, Barataria. Wallace was shot by the woman with his service pistol after a report he launched with a knife. That is what we are hearing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, really sad, a fire has claimed on Saturday the life of a mother and son at their Faisabad home on Saturday. 74-year-old Savitri Bola and her 52-year-old son, Christopher, perished in the fire which destroyed their home on Easy Street in Faisabad on Saturday, the 2nd of October. The incident occurred around 2 a.m. when Savitri's side of the house was seen on fire, but attempts to rescue the mother and son proved futile as the house became quickly engulfed in flames. Two pet dogs were also lost in the blaze which burned the victims beyond recognition. Yeah, news and my one was done on fire too. <laughs> we were staying too. Yeah. My papa was fire too. You didn't wait for five back and you were them too. We take the hose and try and tell how the dog and the rain. We put the hose in and I put it across and we try and just free. But the police, yeah, I'm fine. We're going to come too late. But I went to leave. The police coming in. Try, try to. Yeah, the police coming from the motor in the yard they were No, but in fact, anyhow, you take it, demo's done. Also, I'm, I must apologize about the, the, the audio problem. Okay, an autopsy has been ordered on the body of a man who was found in a boat in Shagaramas. 40 year old Shane Taylor, an ordinary seaman of Eccles Road Mayaro, was found dead on a vessel named Knockout 2 in Shagaramas on the night of Thursday, 
the 30th of September, the discovery, the discovery was on the floor of a cabin around 10.30 p.m. by Marine Superintendent and police. Also, I want to say happy birthday to Jamila. Yeah, Jamila Mohammed of AG's Marketing. Happy birthday to you, ma'am. You're such a great person. You're my, and, you know, you're my personal friend. You're a great woman. All right, I thought I would not have had the opportunity to put up your picture because how oh, we couldn't post anything and, you know, WhatsApp just came back. Thank you again. So, Jamila, thank you. Happy birthday to you. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. I am out of time. Tomorrow, I'll have more news for you. You all WhatsApp me on 294-4081. Let me know what's going on. WhatsApp just came back. I tell you, I always bring good things in your life for now. I always bring. While I'm talking, Facebook is up. While I'm, and before I end, WhatsApp is back. All those of you who are on TikTok, yeah, I'm on TikTok, so you can message me. Let me know what's going on. This is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow. Advertisers, the month starts, so you know what to do. Continue your ad. Good night. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe